Hibernate Enverse is a module provided by Hibernate that enables easy auditing of entities in a database. It allows you to effortlessly track and manage changes made to your data over time. JPA Buddy simplifies feature development related to Hibernate Enverse, making it even more enjoyable to use. Let's see how it works. Imagine we have a simple application that automates books handling in a library. In the application, we have a book entity, a Spring Data JPA repository, and a REST controller with POST and PATCH endpoints. Now, we need to implement auditing in our application. Let's add Spring Data Enver's dependency to the build.gradle. Now, we can use all its power. To enable auditing for the book entity, we need to add audited annotation. JPA Buddy allows us to do it via JPA Designer. From now on, Hibernate will store all versions of our entities in a separate table. By default, each new revision will be assigned a revision number and timestamp. Let's extend audit info by specifying the user who made these changes. To do that, we'll create a new entity called Audit Enver's Info, inheriting from default revision entity. We'll add a new field for our revisions, username. Next, we'll annotate the entity with revision entity and create a new listener for it. The logic in the new revision method is straightforward. We simply set the username value obtained from the getCurrentUsername method in the user service class. Now we need to implement a REST controller to retrieve information about the revisions of the book entities. Spring Data JPA provides the revision repository interface to retrieve revision information from the database conveniently. To create a revision repository using JPA Buddy, simply select the corresponding checkbox. Great! We also need to add the Enable JPA Repositories annotation to let Spring Data know that we'll use the Enver's repositories. Next, let's proceed to the controller. The first endpoint is for retrieving a list of all versions of a book object. The Revision Repository provides the Find Revisions method, so we'll use it and map the result to a list of entities. The second endpoint should return the username of the user who created a specific book instance. To do that, we'll use the find revision method and pass the ID and version number as parameters. Since we want to get the initial revision, we pass one as the version number. Next, write the code to obtain the username. Excellent! We're almost ready to run our application. To make the audit-related tables more representative, let's modify some values via properties. To make sure JPA Buddy considers these changes during script generation, we'll select the corresponding option in the settings. Alternatively, we could have specified all the required values directly in the settings without using a properties file. Now, we just need to initialize the database. We'll generate a Liquibase init script using JPA Buddy. Fantastic! The initialization change log is ready. It contains all required statements including audit-related ones. Let's run our application and test all the endpoints. Works like a charm. Thank you for watching.